Now, here's the new discovery, uh, the question I want to pose today. Could we find unreacted thermite in the World Trade Center dust? We see the residue. This is the smoking gun already, but can we find the, the gun, I guess you'd say? The unreacted thermite. That uh, Many red chips I, I found in the World Trade Center dust. About last June, I started noticing these. They're attracted by a magnet. A thought came, well, maybe it's just paint. There, there's all over these little uh, red chips. They're like eggshell chips. You know, you scrunch up an egg, egg shell, and you get about that thickness, roughly speaking. These are quite tough, though. They're, they're strong. Uh, and now these are bilayered. This only shows one side, the red side. The other side is a dull gray. Red is the color of iron rust, iron oxide. One of the oxides, Fe2O3. That already suggests something to you. They're attracted by a magnet, suggests iron as well. And now the chemical composition, are you ready? Of these chips, the red side. I won't talk much about the gray side. It's harder to analyzing, use, analyze using this method. But the red side has just hardly wait to show you. Okay, here it is. These are red chips. Uh, the one is from the Liberty Apartment, McKinley. The other is from the Brooklyn Bridge sample. These also show, can you see it? It's very clear. Iron. It's hard for me to point to it from here, but I think you can pick out now. Fe is iron. Si is silicon. Al is aluminum. K, potassium, very clearly. And, of course, oxygen. It's the same signature as the spheres. It's the same signature as the commercial thermite. I've put them side by side so that you can look at this. Hopefully, as this is taped, you can you know, pause and make your comparisons. The same signature. Again, the amounts will vary from chip to chip and from sphere to sphere. And, and where you look on a chip, there are some variations. And certainly where you look on a sphere, there are some well, from sphere to sphere, anyway, there are variations. The spheres typically are small, a few, uh, a micron up to about 1,500 microns. 1 1.5 millimeters is the largest uh, sphere that we've seen. So here's a uh, comparison now from the Brooklyn Bridge sample, uncontaminated within 20 minutes of the collapse of the North Tower. Again, red chip on this side. Oh, wait a minute, I'm sorry. I've got to correct the title, sorry. The red chip is from the uh, McKinley sample. The sphere, which is here, is from the uh, Brooklyn Bridge uh, sample. And so, but again, you see, from sample to sample, we see these, the same pattern. Fioc alci. Okay, now this is from, so I, have to, I have to look at the title. I remember red dust, I called it back then. When were those data taken? June, yeah, June, you see, of this year. This is the first time I've discussed these red chips publicly. I think it's important to get this out. We have done some other tests. Oops. I want to mention, so, so one of the tests I did. So I took one of these red chips and had a friend uh, scan. It's hard to get thermite to ignite. And I thought, thought, how can we tell if this is thermite or not? It's not easy. It has the right chemical signature. Aluminum, iron, oxygen is what you need. And it's got some other goodies thrown in, silicon and uh, potassium. And so typically, I put the K in parentheses. Not all of these show much potassium. But anyway, that's the signature. And so a friend of mine has an oxyacetylene torch with a very fine tip. He uses it for repairing uh, eyeglasses. And so I had him pass it over one of these red chips. It was just one thirty-second of an inch on a side, approximately square. And it, uh, it flamed, it flashed as he passed over it. Now, that's not itself a proof, but it's a strong indication, along with the chemical composition and the red color, which in indicates iron oxide, that this is a form of thermite. I've provided red chip samples now to an independent laboratory for testing with the question to them, do they 
agree, do they find that these red chips are a form of thermite? Technical term is aluminothermic. Independently, Justin Keoff and his team, I know he's working with Richard Gage, is now also looking at the World Trade Center dust spheres and red chips also. Excited to say. <laughs> Richard called up Justin last night, I talked to him on the phone. Oh, yeah, we saw some of that red stuff, you know. He said, we tried it in a Raman spect spectrograph system analysis. And he said, we hit it with a laser. <laughs> now, this stuff is behaving like thermite, folks. Well, again, I'm inviting scientific scrutiny of these red chips. I believe this is the last nail in the coffin, so to speak. <clears throat> Thanks. <clears throat>